Hello and welcome once again to our evening prayer. I realised last night listening to Nikki how comforting I found the familiarity of the words that she used, the words that generally we've used in these evening prayers. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. I'm just going to use the same words that we've been using for, well, since we started the evening prayers really. I may add in a couple of extras. That's when I can find the prayers that I need to say. So as we settle down, as we light our candles, and as we think about the day, the day that we've had, and the day that we might have tomorrow, In the rush and noise of life, as you have intervals, step within yourselves and be still. Wait upon God and feel his presence. The eternal God is your refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. We pause and we reflect. And tonight, I think we should pray for ourselves and pray for those we love and take time to pray for the strength that we need to guide us through such difficult times and the faith. Save us, O Lord, while waking and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep may rest in peace. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High and abides under the shadow of the Almighty shall say to the Lord, my refuge and my stronghold, my God, in whom I put my trust. For he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his wings and you shall be safe under his feathers. His faithfulness shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor of the sickness that destroys at noonday. Though a thousand fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, yet it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold to see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your refuge and the Most High your stronghold. There shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your tent, for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because they have set their love upon me, therefore will I deliver them. I will lift them up because they know my name. They will call upon me and I will answer them. I am with them in trouble. I will deliver them and bring them to honour. With long life will I satisfy them and show them my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Jesus said, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. 
Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. O oh God, help us to trust you. Help us to know that you are with us. Help us to believe that nothing can separate us from your love, revealed in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Merciful God, we entrust to your tender care those who are ill or in pain, knowing that whenever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to hold them safe. Comfort and heal them, and restore them to health and strength, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Merciful God, we entrust to your unfailing and tender care this night those who are ill or in pain, knowing that whenever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to hold us safe, comfort and heal them, and restore them to health and strength. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And I've just said the same prayer twice. Sorry. And today's prayer. O Lord, from whom all good things come, grant to us, your humble servants, that by your holy inspiration we may think those things that are good and by your merciful guidance may perform the same. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And we gather our prayers and praises into one. And let us pray with confidence as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy, your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. As rest heals the sores of the body and sleep restores its strength, so may your angels visit me this night. May my soul be refreshed. May my dreams be visited with messages of grace and the senses of my spirit be born again. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. May the Lord bless us and watch over us. May the Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. May the Lord look kindly upon us and give us peace. Amen. And apologies there for the same prayer being said twice. I turned the page and it's printed twice. And well, special prayers and, and thoughts for Janice tonight, looking at those messages. So Janice, you're in our prayers, you're in our hearts. And anyone else who's feeling that they need those prayers. And we look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock for the Sunday service with Claire. <laughs>